Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Menik. And today we'll be going a little different route. We won't be doing the usual lunchtime meal with cheese and chili or hot dogs or pizza or whatever. Instead, I'm going to take some advice I was posted on the Coachella message board, and good advice it was. We'll be doing a dessert today. And originally I was going to do a banana split, but unfortunately I don't have any whipped cream or nuts or even a cherry on top, so it wouldn't be much of a banana split without any of those. So instead, I scoured the internet for a nice recipe, and today we're going to be making a peanut butter and banana milkshake. I'll be adding some chocolate to it too, so we'll have the uh, minic touch. But anyway, our ingredients are here, so let's get started. Alright, so our ingredients for this peanut butter and banana slash chocolate milkshake today will consist of one banana, which we'll be cutting up and slicing and putting in the blender, the Hershey's chocolate syrup, the Jif creamy peanut butter, some Dryer's Grand Vanilla Ice Cream, and some 2% milk. And also we have our ice cream scooper, our knife, our spoon, our uh, measuring cup, and our blender right here. So it seems like quite a bit for a milkshake, but hopefully when we blend everything together, it'll turn out to be very tasty and good. Alright, so probably be best to read what the uh, directions from the internet sites say to do. So it says here, one whole sliced banana, two heaping tablespoons of peanut butter, four scoops of ice cream, and 250 millimeters of milk, slightly more than one cup. Place all ingredients into the blender, start on crush to make sure the banana pieces and the peanut butter blend together, put the blender on smoothie until the milkshake is nice and smooth. Well, first things first, our banana. So we're just gonna unpeel it. The thing breaks off, of course. So we're just gonna unpeel the banana. Throw the stuff away. All right, so we're just gonna slice the banana into about maybe five or six pieces so we get them small and it will blend together easily. So we'll just take a knife and do that. That should be good enough. Six pieces for a banana. We'll put those in the blender and add everything else. All right, so we're gonna take our banana pieces, put them in our blender right here. Just toss them all in there. Next, we're going to add the peanut butter. It said two scoops of peanut butter, but I love peanut butter, so we're going to go a little more than two scoops. So, we're just going to unscrew the cap, take our spoon for the peanut butter, reach deep down in there. There's our first scoop. I'm just going to Another scoop. Number two. Probably better if we get the knife to uh, get everything off. You know what? We're going to go one more scoop because I love peanut butter. There's our banana and peanut butter so far. Now we're just going to add the milk and ice cream and chocolate. Alright, so I said take four scoops of vanilla ice cream and add it to the blender. So that's what we're going to do now. So we'll take our vanilla ice cream and our ice cream scooper. Important to have one of these. You can do it with a regular spoon, but sometimes if the ice cream's cold, the spoon will bend and it's harder to get out. So having an ice cream scooper comes in handy. And we'll just take our ice cream scooper and add four scoops of ice cream. That's one. Two. Big one for the last one. Four. And now 
we'll just add our milk and it said one cup of milk pretty much so this is our one cup measuring cup our two percent milk I guess you can use whatever kind of milk you want I hate non-fat milk so I don't even don't use that it's like water you could use whole milk vitamin D but some people say that's really bad for you you can use one percent milk but that also sometimes is kind of watery to me so two percent is a good uh, a good solution. So we'll just pour the milk in here. That's our one cup of milk. Pour it in the blender. I said to add a little bit more than one cup, so we'll add a tiny bit more. I should do it. Next thing we should be able to do is blend, and after that we should hold that thought for a second. Before we start blending and mixing everything we sat in in the blender, I almost forgot that I was going to add my own special touch, which is the Hershey's chocolate syrup. So we'll add that now. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Luckily I thought about it, so chocolate in the milkshake. I'm just going to take our can of Hershey's chocolate syrup and pour it in there. I really don't know how much chocolate to add, but uh, I love chocolate, so we're just going to keep going until I feel it's enough. And that will probably do it. Alright, so now the last thing to do, obviously, is just uh, put the cap on our blender and press the button, and everything should hopefully mix and make our milkshake. So we'll put the cap on, which is important because if you don't put the cap on, everything will go shooting everywhere across the room and make a big mess. So don't forget to put the cap on the blender. And now, uh, all right, I really have no idea what uh, button to press here. There's a lot of buttons. One says grate, grind, beat, shred, blend, liquefy, frappy, mix, chop, crumb, purry, stir. I don't know which one to press, so we're just going to go with blend. Hopefully that'll do the trick. So keep your fingers crossed. Blending is finished. It's time for the uh, big moment. So we're just going to pour the uh, milkshake into our glass. It's dripping all over the floor, of course. So here we go. A peanut butter, banana, slash chocolate milkshake. That is killer. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, drink away, and I totally recommend this.